So we're just going to go through a collection of updates in the software that maybe don't demo so well but are also worth mentioning. So the first of those relates to administration. So when you receive your DVDs, the system will be back on multiple DVDs now because uh, there's quite a lot of volume of information uh, that's put on there. We've also seen a switch in terms of the licensing for EPDM over to the SNL style licensing. Within the add-ins menu, you've now got a last load time, which will show you how long your add-ins take to load. So if you are suffering from performance or slow startup, you can use that as a good first step for troubleshooting. The 32-bit OS has been retired, so you won't see a 32-bit disk in your box. We can also choose to save and restore settings from the options menu here, uh, even if files are open. And within the copy settings wizard, we can now map out the mouse gesture settings as well. Within assemblies, we've got a new select by view option. Uh, the speed pack includes a quick include option. We've also got an open dialogue timer, which will automatically dismiss messages after a, a specified number of seconds. So you no longer need to sort of walk away from your desk and come back to a message that you haven't dismissed. Uh, we also get an open summary, re summary report now as well. A few uh, individuals complained about the revision to the delete component functionality in previous releases where it would delete a component from a sub-assembly uh, instead of the sub-assembly itself. So now we're going to get a uh, message box that asks us what we want to delete. And also within the confirm delete box we can choose to selectively delete child and absorbed features from within there as well. Okay, Alex is going to run us through some additional options now. So we now have 3D print support in SolidWorks, so providing you've got Microsoft Windows 8.1, you can download the 3D printer drivers and print directly from within SolidWorks. Uh, from within there you can define where the part sits relative to the bed of the, uh, the printer and the quality of the job as well. In SolidWorks Plastics, um, if you've got um, symmetrical mould cavities, you can um, use the symmetry function within the, um, the solver to speed up the analysis. Uh, you've also got venting analysis, uh, wall thickness advisor, and mesh improvements. We now offer a non-orthogonal voxel mesh, which is a square mesh. Oh, we're going to finish off now uh, by taking a look at an, an, another new product uh, within our suite of tools that we can offer you called SolidWorks Mechanical Conceptual. So we'll go ahead and we'll play a video here. So Mechanical Conceptual is an online tool that's sort of browser independent, but it allows us to very quickly generate concept designs for mechanisms uh, in a sketch-based form. So here you'll see uh, the user has very quickly generated a mechanism based on those sketch blocks with minimal setup. From there they can then create a 2D motion study and turn on options to get trace path uh, to take a look at the functionality of that mechanism from a variety of different points. Because it's an online tool, uh, any screenshots can be published to private or uh, public communities and shared with other users. Other users can then log in from external locations uh, and external devices and contribute to the design of the product that somebody's working on. So it's an exceptionally collaborative tool. So once we're happy with the mechanism we can then generate uh, 3D components from those by turning the sketch blocks into physical products. Using instant 3D style drag handles we can then convert each of those blocks into solid geometry as well at varying different thicknesses. We're not conscious of any mating relationships between these items but you'll still see that it functions with the ability to create 3D motion studies and also generate things like swept volumes to look at the envelope the mechanism is working within. So a really functional tool for the generation of mechanisms there and one of the new style of tools that's on something called the Dasso 3D Experience platform. Thank you very much for watching our What's New for SolidWorks 2015. See you again next year.